Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I truly appreciate you being here. It's a beautiful day here in Eastern Kentucky and I thought it would be a good time to talk about the essential hand tools that I think every prepper or homesteader should have and probably have multiples of because it will definitely make your life easier. I'm not going to put them in any particular order because they're all pretty much important. Some of them get used a lot more than others. but. Stick around, wait till the end, and I'm gonna give you a pointer on something that a lot of people I think have overlooked as far as tools. Once you get through watching this video, let me know in the comments below what's something you think I need to add, something that I overlooked. We can all learn together. One tool that's indispensable is some shovels. And you need a variety of shovels because they have different uses. This is a spade, us hillbillies call them a pointed shovel. This one's got the D handle on it. And this is a regular dirt shovel. We call them a flat point shovel. Again, got the D handle on it. You also need them with the long straight handles on them to give you a little more leverage when you're digging sometimes. And another shovel I find indispensable is trenching shovel or a little small shovel. It's great for digging small ditches when you need to ditch some water and get rid of some water for some areas or digging water lines where you don't want to use a big shovel and dig a big wide ditch when you don't need it. So assortment of shovels is very important. The next thing that goes along with those shovels is a good matic. This one has the pick end on it and the flat end for digging. Very handy for digging in hard ground and absolutely, to me, essential for use around the home. Another tool that's extremely handy is a set of post hole diggers. If you need to dig a hole for set some posts or whatever, absolutely essential for digging a hole. And to go along with them post hole diggers, you need a good rock bar. Us coal miners call these a slate bar, but it's a long steel bar with a pointed end on one end and a flat end to pry with on the other end. I don't know about where you're at, but every time I try to dig a hole of some type, I'm going to hit a rock. And these are absolutely essential for getting those rocks out of those holes or busting through them to get your posts in the ground. So. I highly recommend a good rock bar. Some other hand tools that you definitely need, if you do any type of yard work or gardening, is a good garden rake, as well as a good leaf rake. Both of these are very handy for cleaning off the garden, cleaning up the leaves out of the yard, and definitely need to have these on hand as well. The next tool that I find extremely useful here is a digging fork. We call them a tater fork. They're very good for digging your potatoes once they're time to harvest them. I've got one with a long straight handle in it. And I have another one here with the D handle in it. You can also use these, especially if something happens that we no longer have gasoline and stuff available and we're going to have to start digging our gardens by hand. If you've been working that soil with a tiller already or a tractor, however you're working your soil, you can use this the next time to work that soil up and get those rows ready for planting. And it'll be a whole lot easier than trying to dig it with a mattock or a shovel. The next hand tool that's absolutely essential for working in the garden is a variety of hoes. This here is called a scuffle hole or a stirrup hole, some people call them. They're great for just some quick weeding around your plants. They'll cut those plants off just below the surface of the ground and leave them laying up on the top for them to die. This next hole here I picked up at a flea market years ago from an old man. He called it a strawberry hole. I don't know what the actual name for it is, but again, it's very handy for weeding in the garden. The next one here is just your standard garden hoe. 
again very good for working in the garden with and this one i think the official term is an ames hoe but it's got like a pointed plow blade on it it's real good for laying off your rows for planting and very essential to me so uh ames hoe or furrow hoe whatever you want to call it one of the next essential tools I think everybody should have is a good sledgehammer and some splitting wedges. Absolutely essential for splitting firewood. I also recommend a smaller sledgehammer for driving stakes. And you can also use these for processing firewood. The other thing for processing firewood is you need a good splitting maw. It needs to be good and heavy but something that you can handle to split firewood with. Along with processing wood, you need an assortment of hand axes. This is called, we call them a double bit axe. Got a sharp blade on both sides. Then what we call a single head axe. And a small hand axe or a hatchet. Again, essential for cutting small trees and working up some wood. Another hand tool that you need is a T-post driver. If you've ever installed many T-posts and you try driving them with a sledgehammer and you've used one of these, you'll quickly realize how much better these are and how much easier they are to drive a T-post in the ground. Another tool that I find extremely handy and useful is a good come along, or as we call them, a chain ratchet. I used these extensively when I worked in the mines and they're extremely handy for pulling and lifting heavy objects. If you're cutting trees and you needed to pull it to go a certain direction, you can use this along with some cable and winch that tree, winch a vehicle if it's stuck with a bigger one, just a multitude of uses around the homestead. Another tool that is extremely handy is a farm jack or a high lift jack as some people call them. But multitude of uses. I use them to retrieve T-posts, put a chain around it, latch it onto that, and just jack that post right back up out of the ground. Uh, you need to lift something up and hold it in place. They're very versatile. And now for that item, I think a lot of people overlook. And this can be extremely essential is replacement handles for your tools. We've become a disposable society. If something breaks, we just throw it away and go buy a new one. The time may be coming that we won't be able to do that no more. Or we may not be able to afford that new tool because the handle broke in it. So you need to get you some handles now while they're available and put them up and have them. I try to keep an assortment of handles, multitudes of them. That old prepper saying, two is one and one is none, get you some spare tool handles. Keep them on hand, along with the wedges to drive in them, to tighten them up into the heads of certain tools and have those available. The time may be quickly approaching that this stuff will no longer be available. And yes, you can go out and find you a small hickory limb or a small hickory tree if you're in your area and cut it down and whittle one out. But I don't want to have to do all that if I can avoid it. And by having extra tool handles on hand, I plan on avoiding that issue. I want to thank you for watching. Like I said, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think I've overlooked. Something that you would add, something that you would take away that you don't think is necessary. Again, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with people that may be interested or that it may help. And remember, prepare today for what may happen tomorrow. I'll see you on the next video.